Hello everyone, uh, I'm Tuya. Today I'm gonna show you how we can send log from the web server uh, on the AWS to S3 or any storage or any particular SIM, right? So sending log, fr log from one uh, EC2 instance to the SIM or S3 or any log service, uh, any SIM, any uh, log analyzer or something like that. So we will do with Kinesis Firewalls and we're using Athena okay for the analysis we are not using any sim for this lab because we will use all all uh, AWS services because this is AWS uh, training lab right so what's our lab setup so many people asking me uh, like how we can send log from EC2 instance to sim or any particular uh, product right or as even for the S3 so because in on-prem it is quite uh, straightforward we can send with many uh, application like Splunk Universal Forward uh, like Syslog like WinCollect and any other application but on the cloud it's different thing right so we will set up the lab with the EC2 instance we'll install Apache web server on top of the instance and then we'll run on a PHP application and then we'll do uh, Kinesis Data File host uh, to deliver the log from EC2 instance to the S3, right? And then we'll use AWS Clue and AWS Athena to do some analysis with the logs inside the S3, right? So what's our game plan? The game plan is uh, so we'll install Kinesis Data Files or Agent, which is like you know in on-prem like Splunk Universal Forwarder or WinCollect or Syslog uh, Agent so we'll install this and we will send a uh, log from ec2 instance through this application to the s3 and then we'll use aws clue to some crawling and then we'll use athena aws athena to analyze the and query the log as we do in the sim and right uh, we do in a sim and other log analyzer so that's our game plan uh, this tutorial is a click through tutorial so we'll do step by step all right so first i will in uh, i will open uh the console uh my uh, lab console okay and then i'll see first uh, our ec2 instant right so i will go and install the uh kinesis firehose agent right so I'm using this uh, AWS System Manager. You can use uh, Party or you can use any other SSH client to log into the machine. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. Okay. So first, uh, we'll go to Home Directory and then I will download the uh, Kinesis Agent, right? So this agent will do some kind of log forwarding from the host, uh, the EC2 host itself to the S3, right? So now we download the installation, uh, we download the Kinesis agent uh, and then install. So what we'll do is we have to do the, uh, we have to change some configuration, right? Parameter. So for that, we have to edit uh, the configuration file and a etc directory right okay let me do it in the notepad first okay i now copy and paste the configuration inside my notepad so basically is do some changes on the etc right aws kind of an agent or json file right so we do some changes like okay what are the source right source is our web server ss log file right and then what is the delivery stream uh, what are the region and stuff like that so i do some changes you can change the configuration file with nano or vim or whatever the conf uh, text editor that you want to use okay so let's just check again the configuration file seem okay then we will restart or we'll start again the uh can you say agent uh service okay we'll start the service 
and then we'll see the status check the service is up and running or not okay seem like the service is okay up and running so what I'll do is first we'll see whether the logs are generating uh, from the web server itself right so for that I will tell to the SS log file uh, from our var log uh, directory okay so nothing much is coming up so I will access the website okay I will access the website so that it can generate some logs okay this is the website where we hosting in our EC2 right on the Apache server okay we just go to some pages and then see okay here we go we got the logs inside the logs file okay then we will see whether the logs are going to the s3 if so or not okay for that uh, i'll first check the kinesis okay okay we have one delivery stream okay it's active now okay okay seem like it's fine okay then i'll go to s3 okay we have two packets that this this is the one we are sending to sending logs to okay i think we have to wait for a while to get the logs okay here we go now the logs from the ec2 instant the ec2 machine are coming to the s3 so we can see the log file okay so this is a log file we are receiving from our ec2 machine right our web server right so but this log file we cannot do nothing much uh, we just it's a raw log file right so we can download it right uh, we can open it so while we download the log file from s3 we can see the logs are like this so we cannot uh, that is quite messy so this is just because we just the logs are so small because we just we i am the only one who is assessed in a web server in real life we will see so many logs coming right because there are so many users assessed in a web server so this is not I mean the S3 is only storing the logs so we cannot do analysis we cannot do anything right so from S3 you can send these log files through API with uh, other sim right like uh, like on-prem sim or even on-prem sim like uh, curator on on-prem so the curator on-prem sim can download this uh, log file through API call and then it can analyze on the same site or you can send these logs to like Devo or uh, any cloud in Splunk cloud or anything right so from uh, Kinesis uh, Kinesis file or if so they, it can send to other sim as well but we are not using any sim for this particular demo right we will use uh, Athena and the AWS Clue right uh, especially Athena to do some query thing so for that now the logs are in the S3 so I will do some kind of uh, configuration for the AWS Clue and Athena, right? So for that, first we'll check uh, some permission things. Uh, we'll do, we'll check the like formation. So we'll do some permission things. Okay and then we'll do aws glue configuration for the crawler we'll add the crawler ok 
Okay, we'll leave as it is. We'll choose data storage as S3. Uh, we'll choose our packet. We'll leave as it is for the IEM row. We'll choose the existing row. We'll next at database. Next, this is our crawler configuration. Finish it, and then we'll run the crawler. Okay, now it's starting. We will wait for a while while the crawler running its job. Now it's just starting. Okay, now we see the success uh, banner message. Now it's done, so we'll click it. So this is the table uh, table properties. Okay, so this is what we done. Okay, let's go to the Athena. So explore the query editor. We'll choose it. Okay, this is our log upstream. So we'll see the table. Okay. So before that so we have to give uh, the query result locations okay let's save it and query editor and then let's run the query again okay here we go now we can see uh, the log file in a in a i mean in a nice format in a table format and we can do query we can do searches using athena right so yeah that's all uh, guys so sorry for some delay in the tutorial because i'm using the step by step uh i mean step by step guide from the amazon uh, aws training lab itself because i don't want to run my own things so i just want to show you guys the step by step uh, click through tutorial so yeah that's all guys i think now we can uh, do some kind of query some searches like why we'll do in siem it's not good as siem uh, tools siem platform but we can do some analysis some uh, finding some do some threat hunting etc so yeah that's all guys now we successfully uh, successfully send the logs from our ec2 instant ec2 machine to our s3 and then from s3 we we use an amazon glue and then we crawl it and then we use an amazon athena to do some uh, some uh, analysis some searches in a nice way right so that's all for this tutorial i hope you enjoy it you got something to test uh, you feel something about this uh, log integration or log uh, collecting in the aws thank you very much